Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Scott, and today it's time to start a new Iron Warriors army, which I can use in both Horus Heresy and in games of 40k. So let's go ahead and dive into how I painted this model. Now we're going to start this whole project off by priming our model using Lead Belcher Spray Primer from Citadel. Now this is also the base color for the model, so make sure you get a complete coverage with your primer. Once our primer is in place, the first thing we're going to do with this model is take Agrax Earthshade and we're going to wash the entire model using this color. And you can go as heavy as you'd like with this wash, it'll just make your model look more dirty. Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Iron Breaker and we're going to layer this over the flat surfaces of each of the armor panels to bring back a shinier, more iron looking color. But we're not going to paint this in the spots where the shade has pulled up the most aggressively. Once we've finished with that, we're going to take Stormhost Silver and we're going to do an additional layer of highlighting, but this time we're only focusing on the edges and any spots where we feel like the light would catch and reflect the most. Now we're going to take Seraphim Sepia and we're going to use this to do a pin wash, placing this color in the cracks and recesses of the model, any spots where we want it to look like there might be oil stains on the armor. Now that we're done with all the metal on the armor, it's time to start working on the solid colored panels. So we're going to start by taking Averlin Sunset, we're going to paint this on the left shoulder pad and then one of the lower legs. You could also paint this on other armor panels of your choice on the model. Once that base color is in place, we're going to take Cassandora Yellow and we're going to wash this all over the shoulder pad and any other armor panels that we painted with the yellow color. Just be careful not to get this wash on any of the metal panels around the yellow. Next we're going to take Abaddon Black and we're going to do two things with this. First we're going to paint the opposite shoulder pad that we didn't do in yellow previously and then we're going to freehand some hazard stripes on all of the yellow armor panels that we painted in the previous steps. Once we're done with those hazard stripes, we're going to take Uriel Yellow and we're going to use this to just brighten up the center of each of the yellow stripes. We're also going to take and add some very thin scratch marks going into the black stripes to make it look like the paint is chipped off a little bit. We're going to paint all of the trim around the shoulder pads using Retributor Armor. And when you do this, just be careful to make sure that you don't get any of that gold on the black or yellow that we've painted on the shoulder pads. To shade the trim, we're going to use Agrax Earthshade, and once again, just be careful not to get this on the other colors around the gold. Now it's time to begin working on the plume that's on the top of the helmet of this Legionnaire, and we're going to start by painting that with Corn Red. I've also carefully painted the eyes using this color. Now we're going to shade the plume using Carberg Crimson. While that shade is drying, we're going to take Stormhost Silver and we're going to use this to edge highlight the shoulder pad trim that we did in the previous few steps. Moving back to the plume, we're going to take Wazdaka Red and we're going to use this to highlight the individual strands of the plume. Next we're going to take Evil Sun Scarlet and we're going to use this to very carefully highlight the center of each of the eyes. Now we'll do an additional layer of highlighting on the center of the eyes using Wraithbone and just be very careful not to cover up all the red that you've done in the previous steps on the eyes. Now for any of the black panels that we painted in the past, we're going to take Dark Reaper and we're going to use this to edge highlight those panels. You can also use this to add a couple scratches or spots where the paint is chipped on the panels. There are a series of tubes or cables on the backpack of the model. We're going to pick those out using Rune Lord Brass. Our final step in this project is to take Seraphim Sepia and we're just going to use this to lightly wash the cables that we just painted.
And with that, we finished painting this Iron Warrior. Thank you so much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know I certainly enjoyed making it. Now, if you did enjoy it, go ahead and like it, and then subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos. And then go ahead and comment and tell me down below why you like Iron Warriors. As always, have an amazing day, and we'll catch you in the next one.